Okay, checkpoint 18.4, how far below the surface of a deep body of water is the pressure twice what it is at the surface? Okay, so imagine this is water, right? That's water. And how far below the surface of the water is the pressure twice what it is at the surface? And um, just if you, if you look at the previous example, they showed that... Um, uh, the pressure of air at at sea level is 101,325 newton per meter squared. Okay, so that's the pressure of atmosphere. Okay, so how are we going to solve this problem <clears throat> with what we've learned so far? Well, let's look at forces. Let's look at free body diagrams. So um, there's this height. Okay, that's what we're trying to solve. How far below the surface is the pressure, right, the pressure over here, let's call this pressure B, and let's call that pressure A, A for atmosphere and, and B for whatever, bottom, okay, so PB would then be twice this, right, so it'll be, what is that, 202,650 newton per meter squared okay so we know that at this depth the pressure is twice that but we got to find out what is this depth so again let's just do a free body diagram so we imagine that this body of water right is um, concentrated into a a point and so this is the center of mass what are the forces acting on this body of water make this nice and big what are the forces well, we know that right at the bottom, there is this upwards reaction force by the surface at the bottom that's pushing up this entire body of water. So we can call that PB. Uh, sorry, mistake. We're working with forces, not with pressures at the moment. So FB acting up to keep this body of water up. And what are, what's acting down? Well, we know that we've got gravity, earth onto the water, and we've got, let's call this F, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. F is acting up. And what else do we have acting down? Well, we've got the force of the, of the atmosphere. So, remember, we're not, we're not working with pressures in this free body diagram, we're working with forces. So, let's call it FA. And so we know that FB, because this body is not accelerating, A of the water is zero. So there's no acceleration. So that means that FB equals these two forces, uh, the magnitudes, right? So we've got FG, EW plus FA. I hope this is all making sense. I think it's pretty simple. So now, sorry, I keep messing that up. Now that we've got the forces, <clears throat> how do we convert that into pressures? Well, if we know that this uh, force, the force of B that's acting over here, it's acting over a certain area, okay? And we just assume that there's this column of water, a column of water something like this okay which means that the area here right we've just got this constant area okay I think you know what I mean that cross-sectional area if we divide these forces by that area right <clears throat> then we are converting the forces into a pressure and what is this FB over A we know that it's equal to PB, right? And what is, let's, let's ignore this guy for now, we'll come back to that, because that's, the solution is in this term over here. And what is FA over the area? Well, we know that the FA over the area is simply the, that atmospheric pressure. Oh, sorry. Which is simply um, PA, right, which is that 101 325. But what is what is FG here? 
What is Fg? Well, we know that it's Mg. And we know that mass is equal to density of water times volume, right? So this mass is the density times the volume. What is the density? Sorry, what is the volume? It is area times height. So we've got this guy now. So the we put that in there. We've got density, area, height times gravity over the area. We can see that this area cancels. And we've got density, which is for water, is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed times height times 9.81 plus, this is at 101,325, 101,325. And this is equal to the 202,650 Newton per. So, all you need to do is go and solve for that H. So, and it's roughly um, something like 10.3 meters below. Okay. So, work with a free body diagram, and then convert into pressures. And remember that your mass gets converted into these three terms: there, pressure, uh, density, area, height. Okay. Cheers.